Impact Wrestling presents Sacrifice Live. Friday, March 24th on Impact Plus and Fight. Boy, if that gets made official to face Bullet Club next week here on Impact Wrestling, what a test it would be for Alexander Swan and Kazarian before they face Time Machine at Sacrifice. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall. Introducing first, from Atlanta, Georgia, Jonathan Crashaw. Sacrifice two weeks from tomorrow, but in the rear view is No Surrender. And it was on the countdown to No Surrender a few weeks ago that we saw this man, Jonathan Gresham, defeat Speedball Mike Bailey. Bailey was able to bounce back last week, defeating Shane Hayes of New Japan Pro Wrestling. And now it's Gresham's chance to tangle with a representative of New Japan. Yeah, and in Gresham's case, it's about continuing, continuing that momentum he started building at No Surrender. It was a hard-fought battle with Speedball Mike Bailey. A battle that he asked for, a challenge he laid out to Speedball and came out victorious. His opponent from Tokyo, Japan, Time Splitter, Kushida! Access TV is giving it away again. Tune in to Access TV between 8 and 9 Eastern every night for your chance to win a VIP experience to set sail on the Monsters of Rock Cruise. The giveaway runs until March 20th, so watch Access TV and enter today. And calling back to no surrender, this man was part of an incredible matchup, teaming with his friends, the Motor City Machine Guns, to take on the Bullet Club, but it was an unfortunate loss for the side of Time Machine. So Kushida is on the up and up, looking to make up for and head with some big momentum into that Multiverse United show. Well, it's not just Multiverse United, it's also Sacrifice, because it's Sacrifice we learned moments ago. It looks like Alexander has his team, Alexander, Swan, and Kazarian, set to face Time Machine. That is Sacrifice, Friday, March 24th in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, live on Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders. And then, as you mentioned, Thursday, March 30th, sold out live in Los Angeles on Fight TV. It's Multiverse United. Only the strong survive. That night, Kushida will challenge Josh Alexander for the Impact World title. So much on the plate of Kushida and everybody here at Impact Wrestling. Is this match starting off with a little bit of mutual respect here? And you know the grappling is going to be fast and furious in this one, given the competitors. A lot on the plate for Kushida. Uh, the point was raised by the number one contender to the Impact World Championship come Rebellion, Steve Macklin. Recently, oh. there's a lot on the plate of the reigning Impact World champ, Josh Alexander. Now Gresham sent for a ride there, and now Kushida showing what he does best. Kushida obviously got a little nasty with Alexander at Battle in the Valley, as you saw. Yeah, I was there in person. That was the first time that Josh Alexander and Kushida had ever been in a match together, had ever even laid a single finger on one another, and it got nasty pretty quick, with Kushida refusing to break the hoverboard lock towards the end of the match. Oh, look at this, these two skull to skull. Gresham and Kushida, two of the very best in the world, regardless of weight class. Respect there, continuing, but it's a little tenuous here. The tension is very real from a handshake to his own version of a grappling contest here, the one-upsmanship. Kushida trying to outpower Gresham. Gresham's so compact and powerful. I believe I would give him the edge here in this in that category. Gresham definitely with the strength. Kushida maybe with a little bit of the speed advantage, but not by much. Both these guys are fantastic. Gresham maybe more of the grappler. Kushida a little bit more of the junior heavyweight. But still, either way, a very, very well matched contest. Gresham is 9-1 and one in singles matches in his impact career following the countdown to no surrender his victory against speedball Mike Bailey. Gresham has said he wants to face the absolute best of the best. That is why he signed here with Impact Wrestling. He had a challenge that he laid out for Bailey at No Surrender and now facing Kushida. He's getting exactly what he asked for. Well, that's what you get when you come to Impact Wrestling. Some of the best professional wrestling on the planet. We're getting a taste of that right now. These guys have not broken this grip. And now finally. <laughs> 
Rashida is saying I'm sick of you. Gresham saying Remind I'm sick of you, too. Remind me to shake your hand that way the next time I see you. Pass. <laughs> oh, and now Kushida going low, trying to take Gresham off his feet. Sound strategy, but the, the thing about the octopus said he can, he can beat you any way he wants. Tie you up in knots from any position. And Kushida, you know, is going to be looking for that hoverboard lock any chance he gets as well. Gresham, of course, former Ring of Honor world champion. Meanwhile, Kushida, six-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, two-time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion, and twice has won the Best of the Super Juniors tournament. Kushida is someone who, when I was coming up in the business, I was watching a lot of Japanese wrestling, talking to friends who had been on tours over there. They claimed Kushida was the fastest wrestler they had ever been in the ring with. Gresham just trying to control Kushida here. If you're the Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander, you know you're going to see Kushida in a six-man tag at Sacrifice, and you're going to face him one-on-one -on -one at Multiverse United. What do you think Alexander is gleaning from this match? I mean, he's looking at the grappling prowess of Kushida. I just mentioned there how fast he is, his junior heavyweight prowess. You talked about it with all those accolades in the New Japan Pro Wrestling ooh, junior ooh, heavyweight ooh. division as he's looking to lock in that Kimura right now. He calls it the hoverboard that's lock. That's right. Once the Kimura, that's what he locked on Alexander at Battle in the Valley. But this is what you take away from a match with Kushida. His grapple game is not to be messed with. Josh Alexander needs to keep an eye on that. And Gresham getting to the top rope, breaking up the submission attempt there, grabbing oh. his left arm. And uh, Kushida, feisty back in San Jose, feisty tonight in Vegas. And in bringing a little extra fight out of Gresham, too. That respect. Maybe a little bit out the door at this point in the matchup between these two. And now look at Gresham just bringing Kushida down to the canvas. Ooh, and look at this bending the arm back, turning Kushida's offense back on him. That's right. Laser focus on the arms of both competitors in this matchup. If I, again, if I'm Josh Alexander, I'm thinking about the C4 spike. I'm thinking about the ankle lock. And if I've got a bum arm, how much more difficult those are going to be able to lock in. Gresham trying to get shoulders Whoa. down here to pin the, to pin Kushida in a kick out. And Kushida here just posting up on his neck here. Doesn't want to get rolled over onto his shoulders again. He's going to want to try to release the pressure that Gresham keeps torquing up on that left shoulder. There's Kushida screaming Whoa. out in pain. You see he tried that, it's a very common reversal to the hammerlock, try to duck under and get behind your opponent, but Gresham was ready for it. And there, once again, going back to that well. And you see Kishida also walking around in circles in that direction, you want to go with the pressure, not away from it. You don't want to fight the pressure, it just brings more pain. Great counter from Kushida. Able to crash him off his feet, but only for a moment. Crash him right back to the arm. And scissors applied. Now, will oh. backslide. Oh. oh, and a stop to the left hand. Finally, after what felt like forever for Kushida, in that hammerlock, breaks free, and now returns his attention to the wrist and arm of Jonathan Gresham. Oh, and look at Kushida. Trying to bridge oh. into a cover off the German suplex, and look at Gresham. Gresham absorbed that and immediately is looking to get that Kimura. At the left hand of Gresham after the stop by Kushida, yeah, he can't quite lock in the hoverboard lock at Kushida. He's trying to give Kushida a taste of his own medicine, but can't quite get there. Now Kushida looking to pin Gresham maybe here. Oh, no, instead it's going for an arm bar. He's trying to break the grip of Gresham. This is such a chess match of grapple submission game. I look at Gresham trying to turn his body oh. weight over on top of Kushida. He was trying to go for a pin attempt, but instead Kushida maintains his control. And look at this, Gresham gets his foot on the bottom rope there. Great job, but a little bit of something extra there by Kushida on the armbar. And not too dissimilar. From the final moments of that eight-man tag at Battle in the Valley, Kushida holding on there a couple extra juicy seconds onto that hold. And now Kushida oh. goes back after the left arm. 
I, I got to ask you, why do you think Kushida has kind of pushed the envelope now in multiple matches? I mean, I think he knows what's on the line. Come Multiverse Ooh. United, the Impact World Championship. This is not just a, a match on Crash him, Crash him might have him here in a kick out. You talk about Kushida being a multi-time junior heavyweight champion in Japan, but a world title is the one thing every wrestler wants, and he has that chance come Multiverse United. Cover, cover, oh, and a kick here. Kushida can all afford a loss before sacrifice and Multiverse United. Whoa, whoa, counter for counter for counter here. Oh, now wait a minute, Gresham, shoulders are down. Oh, and the shoulder, the left shoulder was off the mat. Great job by the official. Just barely, but good job, absolutely. But check it out, now you saw both guys going for the shoulder tackle, the pain radiating through both left arms. A technical masterpiece tonight here in the impact zone. Down of three here from the official. Both men after the count of ten to get back up to their feet so that the match can continue. Instead, they reach out and grab each other's limbs. Picture perfect pro wrestling prowess here from both guys. You see there, Gresham and Kushida, both these clubbing forearms, not to the face, not to the jaw, to that same left arm. And this is what a test for both athletes. And if you're Kushida, you gotta think about the month ahead. So many high stakes matchups ahead. How much more can you put up with? Can you endure? Same for his counterpart, the Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander. The match against Time Machine, the six man tag at Sacrifice. Kushida for the World Championship in Multiverse United. Oh. And if he clears that, Steve Macklin is waiting for him at Rebellion, Sunday, April 16th in Toronto. Kushida's there, leaped for that hover lock, hoverboard lock one more time. Frog there by Gresham looking for the Tanaka punch. Gresham trying to hold himself up on the ropes, but the damage to the left arm has been done. Literally, just the act of going to the ropes. This match has been so laser focused on the arms. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's it. Oh, and That's a it. tap out by Gresham on the hoverboard line. Here is your winner, Kushida. Absolutely incredible, but that shows you just how deadly, how effective that hoverboard lock is once it's in. It is all over. If you are the walking weapon, I hope your eyes are open wide. Very precise attack tonight by Kushida to the left arm. And from out of nowhere, he was able to get the hoverboard lock. And that got him the victory. If that happens, a sacrifice. It could be a victory for Time Machine. If Kushida pulls out the hoverboard lock again at Multiverse United, Will we see Josh Alexander dethroned as Impact World Champion? What an absolutely incredible contest. We, we got to take a look at this finish one more time. Closing moments of this matchup, Kushida immediately grabbing the arm of Gresham, and just like that, that tap out happens, and Kushida, your winner here in the Impact Zone. Meanwhile, back inside the ring here, Jonathan Gresham obviously feel like a tremendous amount of pain in his left arm, disappointed by the outcome of this match, but this is something he's always been about, respect, sportsmanship. I mean, there's a lot of pain in the arms of both these guys. It was a technical masterpiece. Plenty ahead for Gresham, and high six for Kushida this month. 